the diversity amongst the people and cultures in Africa are an interesting tale with different dimensions. The Samburu people, for instance, are a Nilotic people of North Central Kenya that are related to but distinct from the Maasai people. The Samburu are renowned for their unique social structure and colorful clothing. Indeed, the word Samburu means butterfly, which refers to their many colorful adornments. Samburu men wear black or pink robes in the style of a Scottish kilt, along with headdresses, anklets, bracelets, and necklaces. Women have their heads shaped and wear two blue or purple clothes, one around the waist and one around their chest, adoring their bodies further with ochre, an earthly pigment containing ferric oxide typically with clay varying from light yellow to brown or red, similar to the Himba of Namibia. The social structure of the people is known as a gerontocracy, a system where the leaders are the eldest members of the society. They make all the decisions and have the final say in all affairs. The Samburu also have an age gender system that goes from child to moral, meaning warrior, to junior elders, then finally elders. Male children at the age of 15 are initiated into manhood through circumcision and associated rituals between the ages of 15 and 20. They also spend the next years as Muran or bachelor warriors. As Muran, the men engage in some of the most taxing jobs in Samburu life, jobs such as long distance herding and warfare. Their physical appearances are considered the most glamorous. Muran do not marry until they have begun their next age set and cannot eat food in the presence of women. Alternatively, women do not move through separate age sets but are subjected to female circumcision before marriage. Although the practice is gradually fading away due to awareness. The Samburu have several important celebrations focused around coming of age. Weddings feature elaborate rituals where great importance is given to the preparation of gifts for the ceremonies. Like many East African pastoral tribes, the diets among the people includes cow milk, and foods associated with blood. Maize meal is also favored amongst the Samburu and they associate these new processed foods and different modes of eating to the reduction in livestock holdings. Traditionally, the Samburu believed in one supreme god, the Nkai Angai, who were thought to reside in the mountains. Samburu religion focuses on the multifaceted divinity. It is not uncommon for children and young people, especially women, to report visions of Nkai. Some of these children prophesy for some time, and a few others gain a reputation for prophecy throughout their lives. Although many Samburu people still adhere to their traditional religion, some have now adopted Christianity and Islamic faith. The Samburu are known for their striking dress, hairstyles and strong warriorhood. Music, singing and dancing are also important elements of their culture. The routines are similar to that of the Maasai, with men dancing in a circle and jumping very high from a standing position. 
the Samburu people are some of the friendliest in Kenya, a people who still embrace their nomadic culture while gently surviving in a world that has seen some transformation in the way of life.